on and Morgan Advanced Materials PLC. Having participated in an illegal cartel in electrical and mechanical carbon and graphite products, contrary to the European Union anti-competition rules, Morgan Advanced Materials PLC disclosed the existence of the cartel to the European Commission. Following an investigation, the Commission published a decision on 3rd December 2003. The decision was addressed to members of the cartel and concluded that they had infringed the EU anti-competition rules and should be heavily fined, with the exception of Morgan, who, because they were whistleblowers, escaped any fine. Some of the cartel members who had been fined appealed to the General Court in Luxembourg, which dismissed the appeals, and the time for pursuing a further appeal to the Court of Justice in Luxembourg expired on the 18th December 2008. On 15th December 2010, Deutsche Bahn AG filed a claim with the Competition Appeal Tribunal for damages under Section 47A of the Competition Act 1998 for loss they claim to have suffered from the operation of the cartel. Such a, quote, follow-on claim, unquote, is based on a prior commission decision that an infringement has occurred. The tribunal rules, read together with section 47A, subsection 8, require any follow-on claim uh, to be brought within two years of the expiry of a time limit for pursuing any appeal against the relevant commission de decision, or the determination if any such uh, appeal is pursued. Uh, the present issue is whether Deutsch's follow-on claim against Morgan should be struck out for having been made too late. That depends on whether the Commission decision is viewed, one, as a Commission decision made against Morgan, which they chose not to appeal, in which case the two-year limitation period for bringing Deutsch's claim ended on 13th December 2006, and its claim was brought too late, or two, as a decision made against all the cartel members, appealed by most of them, and finally upheld by the General Court, in which case the two-year limitation ended on 18th December 2010 and Deutsch's claim was brought in time. The Court of Appeal, uh, overturning the decision of the Competition Appeal Tribunal, preferred the latter approach and accordingly held that Deutsch's claim could proceed. The Supreme Court allows Morgan's appeal for reasons in a judgment given by Lord Mance, with whom Lord Sumption, Lord Toulson, Lord Hodge and I agree. A summary of those reasons is as follows. The rules governing the recovery of any loss resulting from the operation of an illegal cartel are matters of domestic law, provided they comply with general principles of European law. The two-year limitation period in the tribunal rules is fixed by reference to for section 47A, which refers to a decision by the Commission, and to understand what is meant by the decision, regard must be had to European law. The relevant provisions of successive EU treaties currently Article 288 of TFEU, do not deal with the question whether a decision operates as one decision against all addressees or a series of decisions against each addressee se separately. However, decisions of the European Court of Justice, in particular Case 310 Oblique 97, supported by the recent decision of the General Court in Case T462 Oblique 07, established that a decision by the Commission regarding the existence of a cartel constitutes a series of decisions addressed to its individual addressees, which remain binding against an individual addressee who does not appeal, even if there is a successful appeal by another addressee. Accordingly, the only relevant decision establishing infringement in relation to an addressee who does not appeal is the original Commission decision. That decision in relation to Morgan is the Commission decision made on 3rd December 2003, in respect of which the time period for appealing expired on 13th February 2004. Therefore, Deutsch's claim against Morgan was brought more than two years after the relevant decision and is out of time.